you have an Internet of Things starter kit for yours. Because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone, someone took the pebble. I'm sorry. Oh, that's I'm okay. sorry. I like it when you get creative because <laughs> stuff like this comes up, though. Um, so mine is, that, and it's interesting, the price point for this, but let, let me introduce it real quick. So IBM has teamed up with ARM, the British uh, chip processor, um, and they have created an Internet of Things starter kit. Hmm. It's two piece board kit. Um, kind of reminds me of of a of a Raspberry Pi in, in sort of a way. Um, in the fact that it has the the main board has an additional port on it that allows you to connect another board to it. Um, has the the interesting thing, and I didn't see it in here, is it's not Wi Fi. There's no Wi Fi on it. It has to connect. It's an Ethernet port. An right? Ethernet port, which surprised me, but it kind of out of the gate with the with the with the I don't know what you would call it daughter board, sister board, whatever. Um, it has rotating dimmer switches, a thermometer, motion sensors, small joystick, um, LED light that can show three different colors, um, and the the device is really from from what I'm seeing looks extremely small. Um, so I'm interested to see where people take this. The difference being is the starter kit price, and, and they're saying that the price is yet to be set, but will be somewhere between $50 and $200. Oh, geez. <laughs> Which to me is Pretty like, yeah. But it, it'll be interesting to see what companies can take this and build on top of it, like a Nest thermostat. or Because the interesting thing I thought is it has two rotating dimmer switches. Mm -hmm. So it unfortunately has to be plugged in via RJ45 right now. But it'll be interesting, like I said, it'll be interesting to see what people come up with from, hey, I have this crazy idea, let's automate my refrigerator or do something of that nature. So is this for... Is this something that I would get and put in my refrigerator, or is this something that I would get and and start trying to if I'm developing a product? I think it's more if you're developing a product or or maker stuff, or makers type stuff. Yeah. Okay. So it's gonna and that's where I think I could jumpstart a lot of those maker stuff instead of the maker people having to create this board and create this the gives firmware you the guts to go on to it. Start it, with. It, it. It gets you the hardware real quick. Uh, much like the uh, Raspberry Pi would probably do the same because, like, I put this thing here and I attach it to this drone or whatever mm -hmm. the heck you're using, and and you have a starter. You know, you you have the chips, you have the you have the silicon ready to go, right? <clears throat> so. Yeah, I hope they stay towards the the low end price point of that. Otherwise, you know, that's where all those products get their leverage from. Is all these people that you know didn't have access to this now have this really easy way to you know innovate and build these new gadgets that people haven't seen before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, kids oh, need to be cheap to really leverage that. <laughs> right, uh, kids and tinkerers, right? And I think it has a USB port on it and, mm -hmm. and some other some other features. Um, it'd be interesting at this price point, and I'm sure you could do this with a Raspberry Pi too. But it, we always talk about here, right? Trying to get as many cameras around the studio and things like that. Let's just say at the fifty dollar price point, you could create something that was maybe even powered over ethernet mm -hmm. and then have it plugged the camera plugged into it and it's a remote camera great right I mean, yeah yeah I mean, that'd be good because i know these this the software does like ip cameras mm -hmm. for instance and just have something to kind of add on and and so we don't have to buy the expensive ip because i think they get pretty pricey like yeah. this plus a regular webcam could, could get interesting too so um yeah uh it, Cool to see a lot of this stuff coming up. I'm not going to be buying one, mm -hmm. but all the tinkerers this out is, there should definitely... This is definitely, for people a lot smarter yeah. than me. Well, and I look at it as it's for people that are looking to build that next hardware type device. Right, right. Okay, cool, cool. Um, so go check that out. It is, so this is...